got another Centroid by Composite Shapes video here for you. And this one's a little bit different because it's made out of three different materials. The cylinder is one material, this rectangular prism is one material, and this triangular prism here, another material. Okay, so they have different densities. I have the different densities listed over there, but they ask us still, what is the center of mass of this thing, okay? So you might be tempted in this problem to use the volume equation. You're like, that's a 3D thing, it's a volume, okay? A cubic foot of lead and a cubic foot of feathers, do they, are they the same? Are they, are one, is one the same as the other? No, okay? Is a kilogram of lead and a kilogram of feathers the same? Mm, yes, right? So if I can get them, even though they're in different densities, if I can get them into a mass, then I don't have to worry about um, them being different, okay? So I've got to convert those things into a mass over there, these three shapes. And the way you are going to do this is we're going to, use, we're going to use this equation this time. X bar is equal to the sum of XM over the sum of the Ms, okay? So that's the kind of equation we're going to use for X, Y, and Z. But we're still going to use our good old-fashioned table method to solve this, okay? So let's divide this into some shapes here. And let's see if I got a red pen in my pocket. Hello, pulpit. Okay, here we go. Shape one, the triangle of prism. Shape two, the rectangle. And then shape three will be the cylinder up on the top there, okay? So here we go. I've got three shapes. One, two, three. And then what do I have? Oh, Lordy. I got X bar, Y bar, Z bar, M, XM, YM, and ZM. Okay, so here's my table. Let me make my table nice and beautiful. Okay. Now we have to do is fill that up with the correct values and we'll be good to go, right? How do you find mass? How do you find mass? Remember this is pounds per cubic inch. So that's the density. I've got to multiply that by the volume and then I'll have the amount of pounds and, it, and pounds is going to be pounds mass, okay? All right, so real quick, let's go ahead and find the uh, volumes of these three shapes. We'll multiply it by those densities, and then that will get this column here filled in for the mass of shape one, two, and three, okay? So shape one, remember how to find the volume of a, of a triangular prism? It's the area of one side times the thickness, okay? So this will be three times three is nine, divided by two is 4.5. So shape one is gonna be 3 times 3 times 4.5 times a half, right? Base times height times a half times, oh, 4.5, where did that come from? Okay, times 8. Okay, so there's number 1. Okay, and number 2, well, what's number 2 here? Number 2 is this guy, which is 4 times 4 is 16 times eight, so 16 times eight. And number three is uh, what? So let's see, three times three is nine, nine times eight is uh, 72 times a half is 36. And this guy is what, uh, 80 plus 48 is 128. And this is inches cubed, inches cubed. And then the last one is the cylinder, which is pi r squared, r is one, times the height, times three, okay? And let me see what all that is here, okay? Let's see. Pi on clear on clear pi times three 
is 9.43. Okay, so I need to multiply these. So the mass of piece number one is 36 times 0.3. So 36 times 0.3 equals 10.8. And that's L, we'll call it LBM, pounds mass, okay? And then 128 times, this is the uh, rectangle. The rectangle is 0.5. 0.5 is 64. LBM, and then the last one, 9.43 times 0.7. That one's heavy, isn't it? 6.6. Okay. So I'm gonna erase. I'm gonna erase these units because they're kind of distracting me. Okay. Okay. So what are these x, y, and z for all these shapes? Let's do shape number one first. Okay. What is x bar for shape one? Okay, x bar is in this direction. I gotta go four to get out to the triangle and then a third of the base. So four plus one is five in the x. How much in the y? Well, it's right in the middle, which is half of eight, which is four. And then in the z, in the z, um, right, if I go up and down, the centroid is going to be at a third of the height, and the height is three, so a third of the height is one. All right. Number next, number two. Oh, rectangles. We like rectangles. Those are easy, right? The biggest thing is you got to remember you got to add to get out to the part and then do your centroid, okay? So the next one's a rectangle. So in the x direction, it's half of four which is two. In the y direction, it's half of eight, which is four. And in the z direction, zoop, zoop, it's half of four, which is two again, okay? And now the cylinder, now the cylinder. In the x, where is it in the x direction, okay? I, I didn't mark this, but it's in the middle of the prism, okay? It's right in the middle of the prism, okay? Which would make this guy two inches, and make this guy two inches, okay? Um, let's see, so in the x direction, it'd be two, wouldn't it? Now in the y direction, I've gotta go four to get up to the top of the pyramid, to the top of the block, and then I, go, I have to go up to the middle of the cylinder, so four plus 1.5 is 5.5, and then finally, the, that's Z, isn't it? What am I doing? What am I doing? Come on, y'all. I needed Y for that guy, didn't I? Y bar, from the origin to where that is in the Y direction, it's four. Sorry. I lost my mind, but just for a second there. Okay, now we just got a little multiplying ahead of us. So five times 10.8 is 54. I know this one over here is 10.8. I did that in my head. <laughs> okay, four times 10.8, 43.2. And then two times 64 is 128. Uh, four times that would be 256. And then 128 again. And then down here, two times 6.6 .6 is 13.2 um, times four is 26.4 and then 5.5 times 6.6 .6 equals 36.3 okay so um now what do we do well what do we need here's what we need x bar is equal to the sum of the x m's over the sum of the m's Y bar, sum of the Y M's over the sum of the M's. And then finally, Z bar is equal to the sum of the Z M's over sum of the M's. Okay, so we need these things here filled out and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so sum of the M's is what? 64 plus 10.8 plus 6.6. .6. 
81.4. Okay, that's this guy right here. Sum of the XMs is 54 plus 128 plus 13.2. That's 195.2. That goes here. And then 43.2 plus 256 plus 26.4 is 325.6. That goes here. And the last one, last one, 10.8 plus 128 plus 36.3 is 175.1. Okay. And that goes here, 175.1. Okay, now here we go. Divided by 81.4, that's 2.15. Okay, these are all in inches. 325.6 divided by 81.4. That's, oh, that's four even. And then the last one, 195.2 divided by 81.4 is 2.40. Now, I feel good about these numbers. Why? You know what? That one right there, we should have known that, right? Because look, everything is symmetric in this direction, right? So if I'm going to balance it, I'm already automatically thinking in the y direction, Put your finger right in the middle. So uh, all of my math that I did over here confirms that, that, that I should have got that right off the bat. But that's nice because it's like a check step and says, yeah, that makes sense. So there you go. Okay, so if you have different masses of pieces or, or different densities of pieces, like one's made out of copper, one's made out of steel, one's made out of aluminum, the only way to get them the same is to turn them into masses. And so you've got to use this equation here. Be careful about that one, okay? I'll see you next time.